Today was a good day. We got one step closer to a bezel smartphone, a new 4K 360 degree camera, and yeah, I met all of these awesome guys. Let's get into the F8 though, and the top 5 things you should know before buying it. The first thing you should know about this device before buying it is how awesome of a display it packs. The S8 packs a 5.8 inch screen, while the S8 Plus packs a 6.2 inch screen. Both displays are stunningly bright and sharp, and this year they pack HDR capabilities as well. While looking at some of the HDR footage, my jaw literally dropped. The colors as a whole are a lot more vibrant and accurate compared to previous years. What's interesting though is that even though the Plus adds in dimensions, the resolution stays the same at 2960 by 1440. Still crazy sharp, but if you're looking for a higher PPI, you'll find that on the regular S8. The next thing you want to know before buying this is the price tag. The S8 will be $720 for the full retail price, but only $30 a month on a 24 month installment plan. The Plus will run $120 more at $840 full retail and $35 a month on the 24 month installment plan. This is pretty normal pricing when compared to the likes of the iPhone 7 Plus or the Pixel XL. The third thing you want to know is that these devices are super secure. Samsung is now offering a multitude of security options. You can go the typical pin or pattern route, or pick from the biosecurity options which are iris scanning, facial scanning, and of course, the fingerprint sensor. I didn't get a chance to personally test the facial scanners, but from other reviewers, I've heard that it's really fast and they overall really liked it. The cameras are also still great, but don't expect any major improvements in terms of the rear-facing camera uh, compared to last year's camera on the S7 Edge, but the front-facing camera does get a three megapixel upgrade in comparison to the five megapixel camera that it was rocking last year and now it also packs similar stuff to snapchat filters but it can track three people instead of two the last thing you should know before buying an s8 or s8 plus is that samsung is really pushing having a personal assistant on this phone with the launch of bixby bixby is samsung's take on artificial intelligence and for a version one concept it works pretty well bixby can first be seen in the camera app where you can use it to detect products and text and show you relevant images and links to purchase those products alongside translate pieces of text and that could actually be pretty cool at a restaurant that has a menu with a different language than you speak. Samsung is dedicating a whole button on the left side to activating Bixby, so they really believe in the potential of this product and are gonna be dedicated to improving it. The button activates the command center of Bixby, but uh, aside from actually seeing the command center, we weren't able to test anything else at the event. I'm definitely excited for the S8 and S8 Plus, and we'll definitely be bringing a ton of coverage on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. Thank you to Samsung for inviting me to unpack, and let me know your thoughts on the S8 and S8 Plus in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye!